Hello everybody, Nikki from Gracie's House here. I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima and I'm going to show you some newish products to the market today. I'm going to be looking at um, a transfer, stencil and also some metal flakes. Uh, as you're coming on um, live, just drop me a little message, say hello, I'm going to pop a little comment in myself. It often helps me be able to see your beautiful comments. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get cracking. Um, so let me just show you the products that we're gonna be working with today. Uh, we have a bit of a classic Chatelarot uh, transfer. So that's the, um, that's the transfer. This one comes in three sections. We're only using one. We're gonna only be using one. We're going to use the, um, oh, this one just, it doesn't stick in my brain the name of this. I think this is Flourish Emblem. Morning, Patricia. If Roz is there, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is Flourish Emblem. I've cut my edges off if it looks different, if you've got one already. Um, I've also, I've already added my moulds on this piece, but I'm going to show you the ones that I've used. So I have used these two sections here of Everly Flourish. Um, who else have we got? Nicoletta's watching as well, thank you. And I've got this top piece here, which is from Glorious Garlands. So let me show you where I've added those, just so that I can take you through the whole project. So I'm gonna move the camera down. Okay. Oh, lost you for a minute. I'm hoping I haven't lost you for too long. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's the garland piece. And on the corners, that's the, um, the piece from the Everly Flourish. Morning, Erin. Okay, so that's the set. So all four corners of this, all legs have got two set, two pieces of that. And then on the back and the front, on the long, long edge, we've got the garland. So that's all been painted. This has been painted with um, Dixie Belle tea rose. I'm gonna pop you back up just while I talk to you again. So it's Dixie Belle tea rose. And then in the middle, I've put buttercream. I was gonna go all tea rose, but I felt like, so this is the section I've chosen to use. I felt like we were gonna lose the prettiness of the rose if I just did all tea rose. Then I was thinking, do I do a metallic? No, I've kept it simple. So I've gone buttercream and then we're adding extras. So firstly, what I'm going to do is show you these gorgeous, this gorgeousness. This is the newer product that some of you may have seen, some of you may not. Look at the gorgeousness. These are metallic flakes. So these are part of the, um, the Finnevere range, or Finnevere, I've got a feeling I might have said that wrong. Um, a little bit like gold leaf, if anyone's used gold leaf, but these, they're like smaller pieces. Okay, and to go with that, we have gilding glue. And I've just realised I'm usually really good at flipping my camera and I haven't done it today. So I'm ever so sorry. Everything's back to front. Um, so we have gilding glue to go with it. Now, I, you know me, I like to do a little small test just in case it goes wrong on life. And I'm glad because I have used um, metal size before and you leave it for quite a while to dry to more of a tack. Don't leave this one like you would if you've used gilding um, size before it just dries so almost as soon as you've applied this you can whack your, your goldness on now uh, there's five or six colors of these so there's a gold there's a copper there's a silver and then the other three are like mixes of these um very very pretty very pretty so i'm gonna move my camera down again um india uh, there is a link in the description which will enable you to find uh, a supplier. I'm not sure about India, I'll be completely honest, but if you follow that link, um, hopefully you'll be able to find someone that can help you. So, I'm going to do the flakes in two ways today. This is the first piece, so this was my test section, and I was probably not as generous as I should have been with my glue. However, I quite like that it's not a really, really regular. I was going for a little bit more, you know, kind of battered vintage. It's been around a while look. So you can see that that's the, um, that's the pattern. There we go, there we go. So that's the pattern that I've used. And what I'm gonna do with you guys is do this bottom corner over here. So we're gonna do a similar process. 
and we're putting the gold leaf on first, sorry, the gold flakes on first. Now I found the easiest way to apply is high rose is with um, a sponge brush, a foam sponge brush. So and you get a nice big bottle of this glue. <clears throat> and again, it, you can't use it straight from the bottle. I found the easiest thing is to just pop it in. You could use a little paper plate, anything like that. Just squirt a bit out that you're going to use. You can always top it up. Um, and a bit like normal stenciling, you don't want to get bleed through. So I'm kind of, you know, spreading it out. So I've got a nice coverage on my foam brush, but I'm not going to get bleed through under the stencil. And I'm going to apply it as you would do um, paint, really. I'm going to just see if I get, if I'm a bit more, a bit more generous um, than I was for this section. Because I can always go over that piece again. So if you were wanting to, to you have a go with these flakes, but this is maybe a bit too extreme, you want something that's a bit easier to begin with, I'm going to show you how to add some to a mould as well, once we've done this piece. I was planning on doing it the other way around. And the other thing is with this stencil and this glue, get it washed off as quickly as you can. It will come off but obviously it will come off much easier if you do it as soon as you can before it starts to dry. So don't forget to, to pop on, tell me where you are. Isn't it nice that spring has finally sprung? Well, we had it spring for a couple of days and now it's gone cold again, but not so cold that I can't get the heater up to temperature in this in the uh, workshop quickly. So I can feel already this has got quite a tack to it. And as I said, if you've used gold leaf metal size before, it is tacky, but it takes it takes a little while. You can kind of do it, walk away for 20 minutes, come back to it, and it takes a long time to dry. This does not take that long to dry. So and that's what we're here for. We're here to use these products and tell you the best way that they will work. So I'm basically gonna do a similar, similar thing to them, just fill this corner with the stencil and the gold leaf. Uh, oh, I keep saying gold leaf, the gold flakes. Essentially it is, it's just like ripped up pieces of gold leaf, but they're great for small projects, these pots. If there's any questions, I'll try and... Hi, Carrie. I will try and catch them. Um, but I am concentrating as well. Hi, Laurie. Okay, get this one done. I might need a bit more glue. Now, as I said, I've cut the edges off of mine so that I can get a bit closer to my piece, to the edge of my piece. Um, this... This particular table has has some glass that insets into it. However, it's quite scratched up. So I'm contemplating adding um, an epoxy resin in there. I haven't 100%. Once I've, once I've done this, I'm going to try the glass and see if it's too obviously scratched. If you do want to cut these up, I, I made the mistake on this one, the rest of them were okay on this one piece, I, I lost, I went too close. Try and give yourself like a millimetre gap from the edge, trust me, it'll help. Okay. Try not to get it on the edges as well because I don't want the gold to stick there particularly. Okay, I'm gonna do just finish this bit here, match that up if I can. I think we're about there. And then we'll get some gold on pretty quick. As I said, I, I'm not on this top on this top section here, 
I quite like if, it, if it's a bit faded out. I won't mind that. And um, it's that bit there as well. Okay. And it, yeah, if it's not, you know, if it's not complete coverage, I don't mind. Okay, that's gonna, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's put that to one side. It's really sticky. Okay, I've got it on my fingers. I don't really want it on my fingers. <laughs> this, there's no seal. Because this isn't wet product, there's no seal. So go really carefully. Don't do this with a fan on. When you open it up, just be dead careful. Okay. And that's how it comes out. Can you see? Ooh, look at the glittery. Isn't it gorgeous? And you can literally just flake it over your adhesive. See, this is why I didn't want glue on my fingers. <laughs> It'll stick to me. To the point where there'll be nothing left. Okay. So you can you can be kind of quite liberal because anything you don't use, you can you can sort of sweep up afterwards. And, um, and pop it back in the pot, if you so wish. It's, I actually think this is light, this is almost feels thinner than um, the metal leaf that I use, have previously used. Um, it, I don't know, it somehow feels lighter. Maybe that's just because it's small, small sections. Okay, I'm gonna just pop that out of the way now. Now, I'm using just um, any random, natural bristle brush and I don't know if there's I don't know why I have developed a preference when I do this if I'm doing any kind of gold leafing I always just use a a, a natural brush um to just sort of get things stuck down so you can either use a dabbing motion what I'm not trying to I'm trying to dab it rather than brush because because the adhesive is still damp and I don't want to drag it but what you'll find is your brush will get some gold on there, but you can go over the little bits that you haven't covered up. You can go over the bits of adhesive and it will stick. It will start pulling it off your brush as well. So once you've covered everything, there's a big chunk there, massive chunk there. I didn't realize I'd pulled out that much. Once you've gone over everything and you're confident that all your adhesive is covered, there's still some more there you can then kind of use a more brushing motion. Can you see everything I'm doing okay? And at the moment, I appreciate that it probably just looks like a big splodge of gold mess. But as I start to brush, it will, you'll see the pattern come out. touch some of those bits up on the edge where I was a bit I was a bit eager with my sponge this would work really well um, I don't know if you guys have seen when Cece did her pour um, into the epoxy pour and you could just drop some of these flakes make sure they're sort of sitting flat um, but that would work really well okay I'm going to start start the brushing action now pretty pretty sure I can't see any adhesive left over and I'm just going to just scrape away and some it will have stuck to better than others but like I did over on the other corner that I showed you I think um, I quite like that for this piece you know I wanted it to be a, a little bit kind of romantic and battered French um, with the roses, very shabby chic. So I'm quite, I'm quite happy that it's not giving me a really solid looking gold. It's very pretty. Okay. So can you see it developing? Can you see that coming out? 
I think what's happened in that middle piece is where I glued that first, some of that glue maybe um, was starting to dry quite a bit, but again, don't mind it. If you wanted a really, really clean finish, I would probably recommend you do smaller sections at a time. Um, and I also would recommend perhaps when you, once you first opened your tub, to add a layer of, we call it cling film for us, but saran, saran wrap, I think you guys call it in the States. Um, just like a plastic, you could use um, maybe a plastic bag if you've got nothing like that. Just a thin, just that so you've got a seal there, might be, might be a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to try and scoop these little bits up. <laughs> Easier said than done. Okay. I think some of this is just going to end up on the floor. I'm going to put my lid of my gold flakes back on. Just a bit more brushing off. I'm trying to work out. I did a corner. Oh, there it is around there. Going to have to end up on the floor so I can get it off. Okay. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. It's kind of got that real, like I said, it's got a real kind of vintage. It's been around for a few years. It's a bit faded in parts, but that, you know, that damask wallpaper -y kind of finish. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay. While we're doing the gold leaf, see that was that was quite a quick, it's a relatively um, quick kind of turnaround addition, but effective. I'm going to have to touch that bit up there. Okay, now I'm going to try to, to whoops, to turn this, woo, and get the camera so that you can see, ah, let me see this one. There we go, that's best. Let me get that onto the... I need a bigger workbench. So this is the bit we're gonna work on now. I'm gonna use the same adhesive. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna squirt, squirt a little bit more out for me to use on my sponge. And on this particular one, I've decided, so again, project by project, I work on, do I want the whole piece to be a different color to the, to the piece of furniture, sorry, the whole mold piece, the casting, do I want that to be a completely different color? Sometimes I paint them off the piece and add them on. Sometimes I add them on and then I paint them the body color. This particular one, I have painted the same, but I'm just gonna hit the highlights with the adhesive. Because again, I think this is gonna just give it a little, a pretty little touch. Okay, that's it. That's all you need to do. Just run your sponge over and hit the hose, hit those high points. So I'm coming back in to get my gold. Big watch there again. <laughs> Don't want my thick pieces. And just pat it on where you've added the adhesive. So similar principle, bit more freehand, bit more kind of haphazard, um, natural, but because I've used the gold on the top, it will tie it all together. So it, this is one of those things, a bit like when you're painting and you get the, you know, the, the ugly first coat. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to cover. And then on the second coat, all of a sudden, it's covered really well. This is kind of the ugly before the pretty, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty because it's glittery, but it looks messy. It doesn't look like it's going to come of anything. Okay. So I'm just going to pop the lid back on my pot again. It's completely covered in my fingers, look. James Bond, 
gold finger. Same brush again, same principle. You're going to be patting it in and, the, and at the same time kind of getting rid of the excess. How pretty. Just sparkly. Laurie, yes, these do come in other colours. So I'm using the gold, obviously. There's a silver, there's a copper, and then there's... Um, a, a mix so there's three different mixes um i can't remember what they're called one of them is silver and gold and that might be just called vintage but uh, i can't uh, don't quote me but one is silver and gold one's i think got all three and then one's the copper and the silver i think but yes yeah, so there's three main colors and then the other colors are mixes so again this is really subtle but look can you see how that just gives you a little touch of shimmer delicate delicate french sort of detailing okay i'm going to pop this back down and we're going to get on to the transfer this is another first for me. I've not used this, uh, the Chateau Leroux transfer before. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to this one. I've had it in my stash for a while. Um, so I'm gonna be laying, layering over the top. And um, I tried all three pieces out and I, I felt like this was the one that, this was the one that had kind of filled the table the most. Um, actually, it's quite a big coffee table, this one, so I think it, you know, it needed, it needed it, and I think that's about in the middle. Nicoletta, you're liking that. Good, good. Okay, so I'm just going to peel that off. I think we've lost a tiny bit of one of the letters, but I don't think it's going to even be noticeable. Okay, so I'm going to pop that, ooh, I think round about there. So there's not much overlapping, but just a cute little bit. I think that's going to look good about there. Um, and this is, you know, I, there's not a massive amount of la layering. It's not like I said, there's not a huge, there's something stuck on there. Look at this. Mm. Um, but it just goes, it, I just want to show you how easy it is to you know, work with all these products together. If I've missed any comments on the way through, if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments at any time. I do keep coming back to check. As soon as I come off, I go and check it that I've missed, in case I've missed anything. Um, but I do keep popping back in to check as well. So, don't ever think I've ignored you. I've either missed it or I haven't, it's not even come up. Because I do have that problem at times. pleased how this has come together. Laura, your daughter would love this. Do you know what? Normally this whole kind of French shabby romantic bit per se is not, um, it's not really my thing. I ha I'm loving this. Um, this. This table as well, even better, was a freebie that my, um, my upholsterer friend hooked out of a barn he um but coffee tables as a rule don't don't do particularly well for me in all honesty so he said we'll have it otherwise this lady's gonna it's gonna go to landfill and then when i got it i knew exactly what needed to happen to it <laughs> As 
as always, keep your tool in, in your hand. So whether you're using the stick that comes in the tube or whether you're using these transfer tools, which are awesome for covering kind of big areas, or if you're just doing lots, and I also like the little nooks. If you're doing drawers and corners and things, really, really handy. Keep it in your hand so that when you start to pull your top sheet, you can keep rubbing wherever you need to. I'm just being really careful because this is the end where it's overlapping on that gold leaf. So I just want to make sure that the contact is really good. That's fine. Good, 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 good. glue is so good it's pulled a little bit of paint up so I'm gonna to have to do a little touch up there cheeky cheeky that's that's the adhesive and it's stuck to the top sheet no matter how good you prep sometimes that just happens pretty and the, and the tea rose pink goes beautifully with the, um, I'm just going to move the camera over a little bit. The tea rose pink goes beautifully with it. I mean, there's, there's all different tones of pink in here, but it goes beautifully with this pink that's sort of around the edge. Please with that. Rose has just added um, a link in there, in the comments there. Um, so, there's, so there's two links in the description for the post. Go and um, have a look. Go and find a retailer. Because um, it's always good to have a friendly retailer. But if you can't or you prefer to buy online, then there's a link there. Purchase through my affiliate link. Okay. So you see, I'm constantly, I'm constantly rubbing the top sheet as I as I go. Missed a bit there. Tiny little bit of wording. Trying just to make sure all the contact. It's all about getting the contact between the transfer and the adhesive and, um, and your piece where you're transferring to, getting a good clean contact. And I've gone from the other direction so that I don't, I can't, you, you can't see what I'm doing that end, there you go. Um, I've gone from the other direction just so that um, I'm not going to be kind of lifting all in one direction. And there we go. Pretty. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm just going to, oh, Diane, thank you. You're liking that. I'm just going to pull the camera back a bit so you can see, um, see better the whole piece now that you've had the close-ups. There we go. So you can't see completely the whole piece, but there. There we go. They're the pretty legs. Nice. Okay, so um, I feel like it's been really quick today, but do you know what? I've normally got my watch on, or loads of clocks, and I can't see anything today. I have no idea how long I've been on. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. Don't forget to burnish your transfers. So we quite often talk about burnishing and we get a lot of questions saying, what is that? So once you've, once you've rubbed and you've put your top coat, uh, taken your top sheet off, burnishing is to go over and make sure that all of the edges are nice. You know, like I said about the contact for the adhesive, we want you to make sure that all those edges are nicely rubbed down, nicely sealed. <clears throat> Um, particularly when you've got a darker background, the, the adhesive halo shows up once you first apply it. If you burnish, it will almost disappear, and then once you put top, once you top coat, it goes away almost altogether. 
and there's a, there's a piece there I've got a feeling that might have been the bit that stuck to stuck to the backing sheet so you just need to and, and try to, to go from the inside of the transfer to the edge rather than rolling it that way because if it does get stuck um, that's what that's it will get stuck if you do that more likely um, the other thing that I use is either my fingers or a microfiber cloth I find very helpful for this too but in all honesty this one's gone on really really nicely so there we are that is today's project I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you're loving the look of the the gold flakes um, and just as a, another recap I know we haven't I haven't applied these with you um, but I used a fast cast similar to the amazing resin. So each leg has got a pair of these and on the two long straights, I've got this piece from the, um, so that's Glorious Garland and that one is Everly Flourish. So I'm quite excited to use that piece, but not on this, or not, not on this piece of furniture. And then the Flourish Emblem stencil, which we use the adhesive on and, um, and then we use the metal flakes. So beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I really, really appreciate you taking the time always. Don't forget to pop a hashtag replay in the comments if you're watching later in the day. Um, as I said, double check those links. There's the one for retailers and then if you want to buy online, there's a link where you can buy through my affiliate link. If you haven't already, drop over to my page. There's also, um, my page is tagged in those descriptions and drop my page some love if you haven't already, that would be awesome. I'll see you again this time next week. Thanks ever so much. Bye.